taken, and yeah. to all of their leaders. And you've got a Senate race with Rick Scott. Right. You've got a lot at stake. You here. also have Marco Rubio in Florida, who Marco Rubio may be the last remaining. Uh, Republican in America, at least he was in the 2016 race that suburban voters liked. Mm -hmm. That was his strength. If you see where he did well in Iowa, you see he won in Minnesota because, again, it was more suburban type voters. This is actually something for Marco Rubio to worry about a lot more than, say, a senator from Alabama. Well, this is a, a case where I think the culture is changing. Right. Everyone can react to this new generation who are the post-Columbine generation of kids, and they don't want to live this way. Right. And if it's not in this cycle, it's going to be in the next cycle, but that time is coming. Oh. And the suburban voters are not going to take this anymore, and not they're hearing it from their children. So just so, just so uh, conservatives and, and, and people who are extreme on guns uh, think that this is just sort of some liberal uh, insight from me who actually very conservative. Uh, let, let, let me talk about another issue uh, that they may understand more, and that is abortion. You are seeing poll numbers move on abortion for uh, banning abortions after, after uh, 20 weeks. Why? Because for the past decade, younger Americans have been going in and they have been seeing 3D imagery exactly. where they can look into the womb. And you, if some activist says, your child is a lump. I must tell you, I've had four kids. I've never once had a doctor go to me, hey, we've got your lump. Let me show you your lump. And there's your lumps. You know, look at your lump's profile. <laughs> Andrew, or Jack, who's nine years old now, I knew very early on. I said, oh my God, that profile. He does not have my nose. That's a beautiful nose. <laughs> and that was early on in the process. But you, this is an example of science, yeah. technology changing, that is going to change the politics of abortion, where suddenly, again, viability, when Jack was born early, you go into the NICU and kids even nine years ago were, right. were surviving 24 weeks in. This is an issue that culturally is going to change. Americans, younger voters, are going to become more conservative on abortion because they see their child very early on in the womb, the same thing's going to happen with guns. Your kids are watching other kids getting gunned down in schools. That's going to have an impact. Science is chasing politics in both those cases. And, you know, Peggy Noonan wrote a really interesting column on Saturday, I think. It was a wonderful said, column. Where she said, it's, it, she had a proposal at the end that was shocking at first when you read it, basically said, the right should give on late-term abortion. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, the left the should left, give on exactly. <laughs> late-term abortion. And the right should give on, on, on some of these gun restrictions, particularly with respect to uh, assault weapons. And that that's a vote, she said, uh, for life in general. Uh, and she cited mm. uh, young people as a changed uh, political factor. That, because she is ahead of the curve uh, yeah. in, in, in all of these cultural issues, I think. Peggy has a unique sensibility, and um, it was an interesting trade-off. First thing I pick up on, ground, on right. when I'm reading actual.